Day 41 of documenting my life because every day is special. Happy Friday! We made it through the week. Um, and now I have 9am MT this morning and I think I said this yesterday but we are working on a big ensemble number so I'm interested to see how that process goes. Um, so I'm gonna go but I will see you later. We finished MT and we were staging the song I Feel So Much Spring today um, and it was really fun having all of us moving around and doing all these different things and getting the formations right. There's a lot of people so it's kind of stressful but really fun. And now I wanted to show you my, my eyeliner. <laughs> I have never really done eyeliner in my entire life but today I was like on, you know, TikTok as you do and I was like oh okay maybe i should try this so this side was really easy i hope it looks good i have my lashes on too and so that side was way easier to do than this side and also i have mono lids like i don't have to line the actual like top of my like eye that much um i just really get like the corner i am gonna go and try and see if i can get like a gel liner instead of like i was using the really like thin one and so it took me a minute to like get it down but I'm gonna go look at that maybe I'll be an eyeliner person now I've never done eyeliner before in my makeup which I haven't even been doing my makeup for a year yet um, a year in June and so it's kind of fun to like explore new things and like, yay eyeliner <laughs> So this is the eyeliner that I got. It is the Kiss Me Super Stay Dark Brown Eyeliner. There we go. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, oh my gosh, what is going on outside? But this is what happens when you live in a city. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's fun only when it's not at night. But anyway my goodness um this is the eyeliner it is super super skinny there it is i think it's 1.5 millimeters this has been unboxing makeup with ashley unboxing <laughs> This is what I am doing in between takes of filming sneakers because I'm getting kind of sweaty and I don't want to be yet. <laughs> finished tap and I tried my best like I do every week because it is still very hard um, and now I'm getting ready for the show so I already did my hair and then I'm gonna do my makeup in a couple minutes so let's let's see how it turns out I might try the new eyeliner we will see this is the natural no makeup look and this is the finished look. I put on a new lip tint that a friend got for me in Korea, I believe. And then I put some lip gloss over it and I have my eyeliner and these little lashes attached to it. Um, they look like this. And so I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's kind of like half natural, half kind of glamish. So I can't wait to go see the show. We're in the mall walking to the theater. <laughs> We're walking and look at look at this little guy. I forgot his name. But he's on top of a on We're top Snoopy. of a house. We're Snoopy. But it's I know where is Snoopy. Who knows? But that was so cute. Now we gotta keep walking.
All right, so post-show, what are we thinking? Literally, the best show I've seen yet. Like speechless, like very much just speechless at what we've just witnessed. I mean, it was nothing I expected, no. but like everything that we needed to see right now. Like I read The Crucible and watched The Crucible, and this show has changed my viewpoint about John Proctor, for mm-hmm. real. But also, like, it was funny. It like, was suspenseful. Like, you didn't know what was going to come next. Like, it, it was like, boom, 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 boom. Like, crazy. Incredible. Yeah. Characters were hilarious. And it was empowering. It's also empowering. Like, yes, women in STEM. Yes, women. Um, <laughs> but, like, no. So good of a show. Well casted. Great storyline. Great set. Yeah. The lighting design beautiful yes. beautiful lighting the sounds gorgeous loved it yeah. oh no i agree with everything you just said i think that this is a show that is so relevant in our time right now and like what huntington is doing right now in bringing these stories to the forefront mm-hmm. stories like fat ham like the heart sellers like everything like that is exactly what we need to see and so Everyone should come see John Proctor as the villain because it, it was spectacular. It It's going to blow your mind. It is stunning. It is incredible. Wow. Angelina already wants to go back. I already want to come back. Like, <laughs> I need to come back again. This, the characters in, these, in this story, wonderful, incredible, hilarious, funny, everything you want in a show. Yes. Yes, very much so. But yeah, this has been Ashley and Angelina at the Huntington, (laughs) seeing John Proctor is the villain. Mm -hmm. There's an adorable bunny in the wild on our way back. My gosh, she's so cute. Anyway, that is it from me for tonight. Um, I had such an absolutely spectacular time seeing John Proctor as the villain. I think the Huntington is just doing such great work and it is evident that they are really, you know, adapting to what's going on around us and really reflecting the world that we are experiencing today. So I could not be more thankful to be able to go see shows at the Huntington. I already want to go back and see John Proctor as the villain and stand up if you're here tonight and bring other people. So I cannot keep, I cannot wait to keep, um, you know, highlighting them and just showing how great they are. I will see you tomorrow. Um, It is the weekend, so we will see what is in store for day number 42.